Gareth Blevins here with week one day three of the King Predator split. Uh, this is the squat day and again this is not based uh, solely upon the cube kingpin percentages. This is more of a uh, preparation to get back into training shape. I will note that I am trying to do a little bit different form on my uh, squats. I'm trying to lean forward a little bit more in my starting angle and utilize my hamstrings and glutes, hips, uh, and lower back more in the squat. And so I'm holding the bar about an inch lower. It rests now uh, squarely on my rear delts instead of just above them. And I'm still playing around with uh, how upright to start the squat. Um, I think I may start a little bit more upright and then break at the hips first. Uh, it was a little difficult to hold the starting angle. The goal of today was uh, really to do more than what I actually accomplished. Um, I worked up, I was planning on doing five sets of five with 455, but ended up only doing three sets of five and then dropping the weight to 405 for the last two. Um, the workout was very taxing. Uh, because of the different angle, my hamstrings were activated uh, much more than they were before uh, when I was squatting more upright. And I also found that I think I was not staying as tight as I needed to uh, in my squats. I was dive bombing so quickly that I was not maintaining tightness through the whole movement. Uh, with this new form of squatting, I think about uh, taking my torso, my stomach, and really coming down in between my knees. And at the same time, trying to make sure that I'm fully stretching my hamstrings and my glutes on the descent. And then using that... Um, that stretch to help rebound me out of the bottom of the squat. And so it feels powerful at times, uh, but at others it just feels very awkward. I've got to get used to it. As you can see from the bar path there, I'm leaning forward a little too much at the bottom and then coming back up at the top. Uh, the angle of the bar is actually backwards a little ways. And so I've got to work on it. Again, this is first day doing it, so I didn't feel too bad. Uh, you'll notice I took off my belt about halfway through these sets. Uh, with the new form, I need to find where I should place my belt uh, because as I was going down in the bottom of the squat, it felt like I was getting sucker punched um, right underneath my breastbone by the buckle of the belt. And so I decided to do beltless, and it actually turned out to be a little bit easier. Um, I'm also going to have to work on some mobility. This is moving into a different range of motion that I'm not used to. And as you can see here, uh, I have more butt wink in this uh, particular squat form than usual. And so I'm gonna have to continue to work on that and become more comfortable with the form itself. Uh, however, um, even though I was very sore after this day, I felt like it was uh, definitely a good workout and I'm happy I got through it. Reminded me of this statement from James uh, where we are told to count it all joy when we meet trials of various kind because we know that that testing of those trials produces steadfastness, uh, produces endurance. Uh, Paul says a very similar thing in Romans 5 that uh, suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character. And all of this is to say that when we go through times of suffering and trial, that we come out um, perfected at the end. Now the term perfection here um, is often not what we mean by perfect. Perfect in this sense means that you have completed the goal that you were setting out to do. And so perfection is not some sort of absolute term as much as it is as the work has been finished and the desired result has been achieved. And so my uh, purpose is to gain strength, and I hope that through the testing and trials of my training, that result will be produced. And so we'll see how that goes. I appreciate all you uh, watching these videos. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please subscribe. Hope you all are doing well wherever you're at. Bless them.